Hey, would you like to learn five mommy issues signs in males and mommy issues symptoms? Hey, I'm Antje Boyd, founder and creator of the Magnetize Your Man Method. And look, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click the bell right below this video so you get more updates on the juicy videos coming your way that help you to attract that right man for you. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Symptom number one, he always talks about his mommy. So look, very interesting. I just watched actually a dating documentary and this man would just like not stop talking about his mom, how great his mom is, like how great she cooks, uh, what her opinions are about politics, about worldviews and so like every other sentence or so was about mommy right so if you find a man who's like constantly talking about mommy sees mommy once a week um you know you have somebody on your hands hands who is a little bit more uh, has a little bit more mommy issues right um also you see that he's really focused on mommy right because think about it, he could talk about so many different things he could talk about work, he could talk about hobbies, he could talk about um, his friends, he could talk about the world. But this particular person always ends up talking about their mom, right? And uh, you, you really notice it in your conversations and you notice that the, so this topic of family is just coming up just a little bit too much. So watch out for this one. Symptom number two is he can actually be quite insecure. Now think about it this way. A man has different archetypes inside of himself and if he is imbalanced in what we call the inner boy, meaning he has mommy issues, he can be very insecure. Why is that? Well, because he's still hoping that mommy is going to rescue him, that mommy is going to take care of him, that mommy allows him to collapse and to just let go, that mommy's going to hold the container for him. And so because he doesn't feel secure inside of himself, he is not naturally balanced in all of his archetypes, but he's rather imbalanced, the insecurity is left, right? Like he's maybe doesn't feel as lovable, right? Uh, or maybe he doesn't feel as worthy, right? And he definitely doesn't feel like he's respecting himself. And uh, like, really, that's the thing with a man who has mommy issues. They don't respect themselves. And then unfortunately, that then also means that they can never really respect you fully as well, or they respect you because they're projecting. They're projecting onto you, right? They put you on a pedestal in hopes that you take care of them. Symptom number three is he's entitled. Now, my husband and I, we call that the high chair tyrant, right? So think about like a little boy sitting in his high chair. I want the ice cream. I don't want any more food. He's tyrannizing, he, like he, he's tyrannizing like everyone, right? I don't know if that's the word but or not, right? But he's just really making sure that everybody has a horrible time because he doesn't get his way. So watch out that he's not entitled. You know, if you see, like if you go home um, to his house and his mom is like catering to him and he's rather maybe even slightly disrespectful to his mom, he's not really grateful, he's just taking this all for granted, you know, he's just entitled. He feels like the world owes him. That's like another one too you want to look out for. It's like the world owes him, right? It's like, you know, and it's like, no, it's like you have to earn, <laughs> you know what I mean? You have to earn your accolades, right? Like the, the, the world doesn't owe you anything. So he seems a little bit like a little prince, but there's something really immature about it because he's not taking responsibility. He's expecting everybody to cater to him. So you can actually notice that, you know, particularly this goes into the direction if you met, meet men who are more beta males, right? Uh, Bumble, you know, like has a really high rate of that. 
um, you know, they're more responsive to you. You have to initiate more. You have to come up with the ideas, with the plans, right? So he's like this entitled, right? Like, no, I don't need to do anything. You have to run after me. You have to jump through all the hoops, right? I'm just here hanging back and you do your thing, you know, or you don't do your thing. But it's like this entitlement. Everybody has to come to me. Everybody has to do what I want to do. Um, and there's no balance, right? So, which leads me to symptom number four. Symptom number four, you know, it's like he can feel like, he like always feels like, you know, you can hurt him. And so this is again, of course, because he got hurt by his mom, right? If you think about it, he didn't get his needs met. Look, when we get our needs met in our childhood, we don't end up being out of balance. We don't end up being entitled. We're actually very balanced and we're actually very giving, we're very generous. We're also respecting ourselves. We're respecting other people as well. We're really coming from a full cup, right? Now, what happens is uh, men who have mommy issues, that they are actually afraid to get hurt, right? So maybe they actually didn't get all their needs met from their mother, right? So maybe their mom didn't give them the attention that they really needed, attended to their needs in the appropriate moment at the appropriate stage, right? Maybe they never felt safe to say no, to set boundaries because the mom was rather like a matriarch, right? Or was really harsh or was not warm at all and was really cool, uh, was maybe even a narcissist as well that goes into that category too. And then what happens is he's of course expecting all females to hurt him as well. So he can become also very defensive, which is not really fun to be in a relationship with because he projects onto you and he's always looking out for the red flags, which can feel exhausting. And it can literally feel like you're walking on a minefield. So who wants to do that? And finally, symptom number five, he disrespects women. Now, why is that? Well, here's the thing. He gave power away to his mom, which was, of course, his first female sample of humanity, okay? And then, and then later on, he started to resent her for that, obviously, because he didn't get his power back, right? So in order to get his power back, he has to resent her. He has to withdraw from her. He totally has to disrespect her, right? So, and, and he also has this resentment towards himself, because think about it, he didn't want to give his power away. He wanted to stay in his manlyhood and his masculinity. He wanted to maybe set boundaries, be respected for the no that he feels inside of his body. Whatever the case may be, that didn't get met, right? That's the thing that you really want to look at that happened, why this particular man became really disrespectful towards women. So look, this is it for today. So the question of the day is, of course, which of those five symptoms does your man exhibit and how can you support him in breaking through that as well? Leave me comments below. Also, if you like this video, share it with your girlfriends, like it, and of course, subscribe to my channel. For those of you who just really love to know more what it means to track the right man for you and break through your own blind spots that keep you from that, I invite you to take my Magnetize Your Man quiz at magnetizeyourman.com or you can grab the link right below this video as well. Ladies, this is it for today. Much love to you and I will talk to you in the next video. Take care. Much love. Mm -hmm.